women give their power away without knowing they're doing it. They think we're doing it to be helpful. They think they're doing it to be a good sport. They think they're doing it to be a team player. But the end result is the same. It means that women don't have choices, they don't see choices, and they don't feel able to take the choices that are available to them. So for me, that's why it's important. I see a lot of uh, intelligent, smart, experienced women. And what I see is them give their power away in very, very small ways. So where they sit in a room, who starts the conversation, who drives an agenda, uh, women feeling uncomfortable about saying, well, actually, this is my project. Um, I was talking to somebody the other day who described somebody as being like a queen. Now, she didn't mean she wore a you know, fancy hat, but what she meant was that this woman knew who she was, she stood in her space, and she was the queen of what she owned. And for me, that's what I'd like to see more of. The very first step is to make the space to think about what you need. That's the very first thing, and it's really difficult to do. It's difficult to do in your working life, it's difficult to do in your home life, because you're putting other things and other people first. So first thing, make some space. And then I think the second thing is to recognise that if the time and energy you are giving to other things and other people is worthwhile, why would you not give a tiny part of the same attention and time and energy to yourself.